very special story time for you now. We are going to be reading a story called the Easter Journal. And my lovely bunny rabbit is going to be with me today, helping me read it too. Now, if you can't see it, don't worry because we have sent it in today's activities as well, okay? So if you can't see it, you'll be able to open it in the activities, don't worry. So let's start. It's called the Easter Journal. It was Good Friday and Jaya and Ali were enjoying their day off school by having a late breakfast in their pyjamas. Oh, Bunny Rabbit, would you like to have a day off and listen to a story being read to you in your pyjamas? That sounds very nice, doesn't it? Slow down, laughed Dad, as the twins each wolfed down a second hot cross bun. I need to get a photo of you with Riley Rabbit. Jaya and Ali giggled and posed with their class toy. Say cheese, said Dad. This is going to look great in Riley's journal. Grandpa will be here soon, said Dad. But there's just enough time for us to decorate some eggs. Jaya and Ali painted their eggs with bright colours using a tiny brush to add some detail. Oh wow, that sounds fantastic. Just as they finished, there was a knock at the door. That must be Grandpa, said the twins excitedly, rushing to greet him. Grandpa put down his bags and gave Jaya and Ali a big hug. Bunny Rabbit, do you like to get lots of nice warm hugs? Yes, he does. What have you brought with you? asked Jaya. Everything we need for our special Easter tradition, Grandpa said with a smile. Oops. <laughs> Out on the balcony, they worked together to make a beautiful Easter garden. I think this is going to be our best one yet, said Ali proudly as he took a photograph. On Saturday, the family headed to the park Mayor Perez had organised an Easter egg hunt for the children. Are you excited? <laughs> joked Grandpa. Ha ha, good one, said the twins, rolling their eyes. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to finding an egg, said Ali. It's been so hard giving up chocolate for Lent. I can't believe you haven't had any since Pancake Day. Okay, just need to take that down. I can't believe you haven't had any since Pancake Day, said Jaya. It's been hard enough giving up my tablet for six weeks. Mayor Perez announced the start of the Easter egg hunt. Three, two, one, go, shouted the mayor, and all of the children shot off in different directions. Ali went to look under the benches and found an egg covered in pretty yellow foil. Jaya found a purple one in the bushes by the pond. They rushed to show Dad and Grandpa, who had each found an egg too. Make sure you save them, smiled Grandpa. No chocolate until after lunch tomorrow. The next morning was Easter Sunday and the family made their way to church for the sunrise service. As they entered the, court, the churchyard, the sun was just beginning to peak above the horizon. Christ is risen, said Reverend Tasha, as she greeted the congregation. Truly, he is risen, everyone replied. Everyone gathered together and sang an Easter hymn. Then the children followed Mr. Murphy to Sunday school, whilst the adults went inside the church. Dad and Grandpa listened, while Reverend Tasha 
spoke about the life of Jesus and then said a special prayer. Meanwhile, Mr. Murphy said the children told sorry told the children the Easter story. Then he showed them how to make a flower cross using sticks and colourful tissue paper. Let's get Dad to take a photo later for Riley's journal, said Ali. At the end of the service, everyone went out of the church garden. Reverend Tasha gave some little plants to each family. We add flowers to our garden as a symbol of new life, she explained to the twins. Jaya and Ali dug two small holes as Grandpa handed a plant to each of them. Another great snap for Riley's journal, said Grandpa, taking a photo. Back at home, Grandpa helped the twins as they worked on Riley's journal. They wrote about their weekend and added their photos. How about some chocolate while we work, suggested Ali. No chocolate until after lunch, said Grandpa. Food's ready, called Dad, and everyone sat down to enjoy their delicious Easter meal. Now, who would like their chocolate eggs, asked Dad. I'll get them, grinned Jaya. Jaya fetched the basket and started to hand the eggs out. Here's yours, she said to Ali. And here's mine, and Dad's, and... Jaya pulled out an empty piece of pink foil. Grandpa! Jaya and Ali exclaimed. Sorry, laughed Grandpa. I just couldn't resist. Funny, can you believe Cheeky Grandpa had already eaten his Easter egg? I can't believe it. Oh, I hope you all enjoyed that story as much as I enjoyed reading it. It's a very sweet story, perfect for this special time of year. See you all again soon. Bye.